What's up Madden 17 gamers, my name is Cody and in today's video we're going to share with you the final installment in our Saints offensive mini scheme. Now remember we're only breaking down one formation and that's kind of how I do things. Um, but there's several other formations that you can explore that I find people have a lot of success with. One of those formations that I think is actually really underrated is this I-Form Twins Flex. Um, because what it offers, it offers a couple of things. It offers uh, halfback power O, it offers halfback counter. Those are really good runs this season. Um, it also offers the fullback fake halfback flip. I think that's one of the most underrated plays in the red zone. And then a couple other things that it offers is hitch corner, one of the better plays, I think, as well. Uh, so this little formation is a nice little formation. You'll probably see uh, I'm going to play a game with this playbook, and it's gonna sh I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that you can do um, in Ultimate Team or um, with it in a live gameplay. Okay, so but but what, for right now, I want to get back to what we're talking about with the uh, gun empty saint and. Uh, in today's video, we're going to kind of wrap it up with what I call a constraint theory play. This is a play that you can use in situations where you really just kind of want to change it up, like all across the board. Like you're just trying to throw a little bit of a, a little bit of a wrinkle uh, in what you are doing. And what you'll find is that most people that you play are going to be running cover two defenses. That's pretty much going to be the majority of what people are going to run. Uh, this season and so the play that I want to suggest to you guys as a really really good little constraint play that you can utilize it's going to help you beat cover two is this play hitch seams okay I want to show you a couple tricks so first off it's in your quick so every we also uh, so so you would come out and drive unders if you're running this in a game and then you have a couple really nice plays um, the cool part about wide receiver corners just kind of know this is that it's in your quick audibles and what that means is you can run a flood concept like this right here, as you can see, just a simple little flood concept. And then you can run a levels concept on the backside. So, so, so just something very, very simple uh, that you can do. What I like to do actually um, off of this is put the running back on a, on a little slant. He's going mean, he's going to basically run that delayed slant we talked about. So there he is. And he's just going to kind of delay over the, over the middle of the field. I find that to be a really nice little route uh, that you can utilize if you want. Uh, another thing that you can do from this, I know I'm getting a little crazy with this formation, but just kind of giving you some other ideas, um, is something like this right here. So just take um, Ezekiel Elliott's receiver here. Uh, we're going to just put him on a streak or a fade, whatever you whatever you feel more comfortable with. And we're going to run a basic levels concept. And what you're going to find is that route right there to Des Bryant is going to get a, a ton of separation against cover two defenses. Okay, so now to the play that I really want to talk about, and that's hitch seams. So... A lot of people are going to run cover two, and what they're going to do off their cover two is they're going to run cross man defenses. Cross man defenses is something like this. So I'm just going to kind of imitate it a little bit for you guys uh, to hopefully help to let you see what's going on. So they're going to run cross man. So they're going to put this slot corner. He's going to guard Ezekiel Elliott. Okay. And this slot corner is going to guard either Cole Beasley or Jason Witten, depending on, on uh, what you're going to do. Then what they're going to do um, is they're going to drop a, Something like this. This is pretty much what a, uh, a a cross man cover two defense will look like. The problem uh, is a couple things. So the safeties do a really good job, I think, of combating the deep sideline. The corners do a good job of combating the curl flats, the corner routes, those kind of things. And then you use or the deep middle. And so really all that's open is quick crossers things like that. But the cross man makes that kind of hard too. So there's a couple of things that are like just really kind of annoying um, that people will do. So what I suggest is using uh, something like this play. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here is um, these hitch routes are going to kind of sit there. That That's what we've got to work with. Okay. So I just want to kind of show you the play to get a feel uh, for what we've got. So let's look at an instant replay, see what we can do with cross man. So if you look at this, what you're going to find is that when we snap the ball, okay, so the, the, the routes on the right and left are really not going to happen. But what's interesting is that because they're hitch routes, the corners bite down, okay? The corners, you see that right there, they kind of back, but then they just bite right down on those hitch routes. Uh, the cross man does a good job of taking away the quick streaks. You can't really get there. Um, so that's kind of taken away. And the tight ends route is kind of pointless because he's going to be in a block and release pattern. Okay, so with all that in mind, we really haven't helped ourselves at all. 
Um, so what we're going to do uh, real quick also, this play Saint Stick is uh, got a little bit of a unique slant route that you can high point and get aggressive catches with. But anyways, back to our problem. So what I think the answer is, is to bring um, Ezekiel Elliott to the left in motion like this, okay? And then we're going to run levels on the backside. So if you look at this, we're going to put Witten on a slant, Williams on an in route. Now, if you're fair, if you, excuse me, if you're afraid of pressure, I would go ahead and leave Witten in the block. But I personally, I think it's, I just, I personally don't recommend that. I, I normally will just put him on a slant because he's a quick read over the middle. What they're going to do, I'll just show you exactly the adjustments that they're going to make to this. So, and, and also you got to think about how this works with the whole scheme. Uh, because normally we're hitting them over the middle, hitting them over the middle, hitting them over the middle. So sometimes they'll cross man Des Bryant. Like they, you'll you'll find uh, the more and more that you you face cross man, they just try to target someone who um, they just try to target someone that you're going to consistently. That's pretty much the only criteria. Okay, there's not a whole lot that really goes into it. Normally they do the slots, uh, but not always. Okay, so it kind of varies. Uh, but let's just say, for example, they cross man Ezekiel Elliott. They do exactly what they're supposed to do in, in essence. And we run this setup. Well, what you're going to have happen um, is the route to Terrence Williams is normally going to come open. Didn't throw it early enough there. Um, another thing that's going to happen, you'll find that you can do with this, is when you bring Ezekiel Elliott out, you could actually swap him and make that a, a, a concept, okay, so something like this. And what you'll see is, now you can maybe throw that route to Des Bryant up the seams. Uh, now again, there's a couple, there's a lot of variables that really would make it, when you consider the other plays that we have, you wouldn't really do that. Uh, what you'd do is you would run this setup, like, like exactly like I have it here, because what's gonna happen is, eventually, when you put Zeke on the route that he's on, and if you want, you could put Brian on a quick out if you want to. You don't have, I mean, you don't want to make too many hot routes because of the delay. But if they're in anything but a hard flat, you can get the ball to Des Bryant very quickly on something like this play. Because when you motion Zeke out to the right side of the, or to the left side of the field, the deep blue and the light blue are going to pick him up. So deep blue, light blue, pick him up. We can go quickly to the slant, as you can see there. And it creates more options for you to beat the cross man. In my opinion, cross man is actually probably the hardest defense to beat in Madden, um, in Madden this season. Um, and it's because it does a good job at taking away the deep stuff, right? Taking away the deep stuff. There's, and there's really not a whole lot, in my opinion, that you can really do to, to get around it. There's a couple of little subtle things that you can do, um, and that's kind of more towards those bunch playbooks and things like that. But this will help you get around it. I think this is a very nice constraint theory play because it's something they don't see. They're used to you motioning uh, Williams to the inside and then going from there. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to motion Zeke out real quick. And uh, and try to and what he's going to do in this play in my is he's going to be able to take away uh, a couple things. Forgot to do the rest of my hot reps. The other thing that you're going to be able to do, uh, let me show you a standard. Let me go back to that cross man example. So if they're running cross man, they're they're going to do something like like this. This is this is pretty much standard cross man as we've already talked about. They're going to use her with high tower. Okay, so they're going to take someone manual away. Now, what they're going to be thinking is that you're going to come over the middle with Des Bryant on the on the deep post, or he's going to be running a C route. That's pretty much what they're going to think. Okay, but it gives you a couple options because when you bring Zeke over here now, now you've got all kinds of things that you can do. You can hit that in route to Terrence Williams, which I recommend. That's uh, kind of the, the primary route that I would hit. And then the cool part is you can mix this play wide receiver corners in and things start to really uh, connect for you because what happens is uh, something like this, some kind of hot route trajectory like this, and now you've got a traditional flood concept to the outside uh, that you can utilize. So just some things like that that I think uh, will be really good for that constraint theory type of play. One thing that you can always do uh, with this formation in particular 
is dual drags and four verticals. Um, what this does out of this play is it's going to create a mesh concept over the middle of the field. So they can't stop you with man. Okay, so if they go two men under um, or something like that, you're going to see these little drags will crush it. And you get rack catches and you can go and it's going to, it's, it's great. Uh, but then what you also get off that, so then what they're going to do is they're going to go cross man and they're going to man those guys up and they're going to go cover two. That's what it, it's exactly what they're going to do. What's going to happen is, as you notice, that's going to leave Cole Beasley open because you can't cross, you can only cross man two people at a time. So, so then what they're going to do, okay? So then what they're going to do is this, and this is where things will start to really kind of fill out for you if you if you use different strategies like this to take advantage of cross man. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to have to cross man Beasley because they know that they can't. Or what? Actually, let's let's say they do this. Let's say they manually cover. Cole Beasley, and we're just going to mimic that by manning him up. We got everybody else cross manned. Okay, so all we're really trying to do, all that really, in theory, all that we should be able to even hit is these far uh, outside guys on fades. Okay, so snap ball, go. And you'll see with hard right pass lead, you can possession catch that. Okay, um, and, and what you'll find, the more that you do this, the better you'll get at it. Um, but like far left. Also, one thing that's really uh, cool to consider about this formation is when they're in soft squats, uh, it cover two, especially like with cover two blitzing, if they're going to blitz you from cover two, which uh, most people, what they'll do is they'll come out in this nickel blitz or they'll come out in DB fire press, and then they'll adjust out of that. Um, so they'll make all their adjustments out of this, out of this defense. What that means though, translation is the coverage principles they're going to think the, the coverage principles that the players are going to use are what they would do if they were blitzing. And so what that means is uh, those, those deep, those deep um, soft squat zones that everybody talks about, they're now going to become man coverage principles because they're covering you from a cover two perspective. Okay. So that changes a couple of the dynamics a little bit um, because it's going to mean that those drag routes are actually open more often than they're not. So just something else to kind of add into your arsenal. But I think this play, I think it will help you beat that cross man. Uh, but I also think it's just a really good constraint theory play because every play we have will beat cross man. Uh, all three of the plays that we talked about, this is just another feature, um, just another thing that you can add into your arsenal. So I want to thank you guys for checking out this little uh, mini series here and be sure to watch the full gameplay because it's going to really help you, I think, see how it all works together in conjunction. So uh, thank you guys so much for your time and uh, do me a favor. If you, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are already a subscriber, please do me another favor. Instead of subscribing because you're already subscribed, share the video with a friend. Just send it to a friend, send a quick text. Hey man, check this video out. Thought it was cool and let them see it. Just give them exposure uh, to what we're doing over here. So I uh, want to thank you guys so much for your